Psalm chapter 16, verse 1 through 11. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, You are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the saints in the land, they are the excellent ones, in whom is my delight. The sorrows of those who run after another God shall multiply. Their drink offerings of blood I will not pour out, or take their names on my lips. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. The lions have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, I have a beautiful inheritance. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. In the night also my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand. I shall not be shaken. Therefore my heart is glad, and my whole being rejoices. My flesh also dwells secure. For you will not abandon my soul to Sheol, or let your Holy One see corruption. You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Today's psalm is a proclamation of the security and blessing found in God. When the psalmist cries out for refuge, he has already found God's provision upon his life. He sees that there are those who live seeking other gods, and their lives are full of sorrow and trouble. But he has sought the Lord, and he has found God's blessing in his life. And that's why he knows that there is no good apart from the Lord. Psalm 16 shows us simply and clearly that only in God there is fullness of joy and pleasures forevermore. We all have an eternal longing for joy, and the only one who can fill this void is the eternal one, Jesus Christ. John chapter 15 verse 9 through 11 says, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. When we abide in Christ, when we take refuge in him, we live according to God's will. As we live in his will, the joy of the Lord will bear fruit in our lives. As we meditate on today's psalm, let us seek Jesus Christ and take refuge in him so that our joy may be full.